Hello and welcome back to CMD Oral Space Forest Lesson. This is a special uh, video for advanced FX trading. So, like we promised from the beginning of the year, that this year we are going to do things, take things to another level, a different level. So, last year we did um, videos on effect for beginners, we did for intermediates, and then we promised that this, this, this year, we are going to take things to another level for the advanced um, traders or advanced students. So like I've been promising in a weekly um, forecast, DXY uh, and gold forecast, that I am going to treat some special topics for advanced traders, um, especially for uh, what is what is a pro firm, and then what is um, proper risk management, in fact, a practical one, and then other topics. So we are going to create another uh, playlist in on the page, which will have it as an um, uh, advanced what uh, advanced uh, playlist. That will be the title, at least something of that sort, advanced. So under this topic, we treat special, under this playlist, we treat, we, we treat some special topics, right? And then we know that in FX, um, we have different levels of, of, of knowledge acquisition, right? So if you have done with us uh, the beginners and intermediates, and I think this is the time that we should what, move, step up the game to advanced level. So we have looked at in the daily analysis to do that. So if you're an advanced uh, student, you can now understand what to do under the weekly um, analysis, right? So we have this playlist also dedicated for a random topics in FX, not, um, not only um, FX per se, but anything concerning digital, digital assets, right? It could be the stock, right? The understanding can be the stock, FX and cryptocurrencies and all that. So this is what the plan is going, going, to, is going to be about. So for today's topic, we are going to treat what is called um, assets management or better still uh, risk management, right? So we told you from the onset that if I begin now, you know things and then intermediate, you understand things, right? But FX is, is, is a broad profession. Right, so it is divided into three. Basically, we have where you do you have the knowledge, technical analysis, right? Able to do analysis from the charts, right? Get your idea from the charts. You have the knowledge about FX here and there, right? And then we have another thing called risk management, right? Position sizing, right? That is it. That's another topic, another uh, branch. And then we look at the we have the third aspect called the psychology. So if you understand, if you want to be a better trader, in fact, a sharpened one, you have to be uh, very adept in these areas, right? So knowing the knowledge, having the knowledge, be, being able to trade or even get a profit in some trades is not enough. So you have to upgrade to where you are able to manage your risk because you can be profitable, but if you don't manage them within a day or a two, whatever profit you have made will be squandered. Right, so that's one aspect of it. Then go to the psychology. Now, the psychology, I may not actually create a playlist for this psychology aspect because the psychology in my the teachings or the lessons that we have, the psychology will be here and there. I'll, I'll be chipping in here and there. So I wouldn't uh, maybe actually create a playlist for this. So that's what we are going to do now. We are going to take what is called uh, risk management, and that. Now, if you, if, you, if, you, if you see what is on the screen now, I've, I've actually created a dummy, a dummy uh, spreadsheet, except for that matter. So I use the idea of uh, ProFem, right? If you are new to ProFem, yeah, the idea of ProFem, you don't know, even know what is the ProFem, I will come and address this in a, a special video, right? So now just stick with me. I will just have a brief understanding, just a brief uh, an intro on what is a, a, a ProFem. Right, so I've used the idea of proofing so that I can actually capture 
the fields well. The field, you see account dates, account type, profile, whatever, ownership, account size. Uh, yeah, you see um, profit target, the max DB, daily DB, personal DB, instruments, and then the lot size. So if I, if I use this data, it's actually going to help me or you understand whatever I'm doing. If I don't use this data, it may, whatever I'm going to teach will, 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 will become too abstract. But I want it to be practical. So I'm going to do a step-by-step -step of whatever I'm going to do, a demonstration. So please stick with me. Now, anytime you have an account, right? You have a, what a personal account or with a profile, right? I said I'm going to go with the idea of profile so that I can capture the data work. So whatever I'm going to do, you can put it, or I can assume that you have your own uh, account, right? So a pro firm is like a firm that they give you um, a capital. It's like a contract that you sign with them. You buy with a small amount of dollar and they give you a bigger size to trade because usually your amount of dollar or the amount of money that you want to trade with personally may not be enough, right? Basically, it may not be enough. So these companies are special companies. They act like a broker. They give you a leverage, give you a some amount of money with some terms and conditions. So you do that, then with some targets, right? Did they have some phases? Some have up to, up to three, yeah, at most. Some even have one, one, one phase, right? So when you pass, then they'll give you the same amount of money. Some will give you even more than the amount. And then what do you trade? So whatever profits you earn, there is a split. Then you have your share, they also have their share. So with their conditions that they give, that is what I've put in this, in this spreadsheet, like in the fields. Right, so they have their profit target, they have the maximum DB, the maximum drawdown. Right, so example is what I've created you with from different proof ends. Right, so I, I intentionally give you this data, that dummy data. You can actually use it for yourself. Right, so from here, after this video, you can what create some and then use it for yourself. It's very good. So let's start with this now. When they give you an amount or they give you account size to trade, for example, uh, we have the first account given, this is account number, maybe the date. Some of the fields may be extremely, don't worry, dates, then account type. We have different account types that you can have. Some are instant funding, some are three phases, two phases, and here and there. So that is what I've put here. Then the profile name will come, and then uh, whatever here, you can ignore this. We have the account size. So 5K is 5,000, 5,000, 5,000, 100,000. You see, so different, different from different brokers. So from, from these brokers, they have their profit targets that you can hit. So the profit target means that um, they give you like a 10% of whatever amount they give you. If you hit that target, then they, they will upgrade you. You scale up to another phase. Then you continue in that system until you go live. So that's what it means. So the profit target. So let's say if they give you account size of 5,000, right? And they give you a profit target of 10%. The 10%, I have done this so that you understand what I don't want things to be abstract, whether I have to move here and there and go there and that. You may get confused, distracted. So I put everything. So 10% of 5,000 is 500 what, dollars. Now, when it comes to maximum DB, the DB means uh, 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 maximum drawdown. Drawdown. It means that if they gave you five thousand, and you, you 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 lose an amount of six percent from that money, then the account will be breached. Account is what revoked. Access is revoked, and then you lose that account. So whatever amount that you bought, that account size you have lost. So they will take it from you. If you want, if you have it. If anything else, then you have to buy another account. So that is what you need. So six percent. Now six percent of the five k or five thousand. I've done that with three hundred what dollars. So this is what they give. So if you look at the sub, the sub ones, this uh, yes, the sub one or the uh, subsequent account sizes, it's applicable, right? If I should take another one like um the hundred k, right? So this hundred thousand. Look at the uh, profit target. It's very good. Profit target is six percent. So this six percent in in dollar amount is what six thousand. You can do the calculation yourself. Six thousand. 
then their maximum drawdown is 5%. So you shouldn't lose more than 5% or even equal to 5%. If you lose that, the account will be taken from you. Now, some also go to the extent of giving you a daily drawdown, a daily DD. The daily drawdown means that um, uh, within a day, you have a, a, an amount of money that you can lose. If you lose more than that, the account will be taken from you. Even though you may not have what hit the, uh, the, the, the maximum drawdown, you can understand, even though you may not have lost that, but for the daily, don't lose that percent. Now, if you look here for pertaining to this particular program, right, they don't have a daily drawdown. Means that we have the liberty to trade, provided you are within this what uh, the maximum drawdown. That's the total. You say maximum. That's the total drawdown that you can you can what you can incur. So that is it. Now they will leave it. So that's it means that here is very flexible, right? Now when it comes to other people, other pro firms, for example, they will give you what um a daily drawdown, right? So if you look here. Uh, the profit target is 8%, right? And then the maximum drawdown is also 8%. Yet the daily drawdown is 4%. So it means that even if you, a day, in a day, let's say Monday, this video is being recorded on Monday, uh, 4th uh, February, right? So if you lose 4% only this day, right? This is the amount that is going to be taken. Uh, you are going to what? Lose that 200. And then the amount, in fact, the account will be revoked. You lose access that so that is it now in the next field that is where you have to do your own risk management right so in business business is not only about you being able to provide products quality products here and there because every business your main target is to what uh come with what with a profit no business will run Unless it's a philanthropic, uh, uh, even even with them, they have a management that they do, right? Unless the business is what a philanthropic one, where um, they don't, their, their, their target is not for profit, right? So that is it. But for every business, there's what a profit that you have to come up come up with. So now, this is where you have to do your personal risk management from the pro firm. They have given you, they have done their risk management what strategy and they have given it to you. Now, what I say is the fact that they gave you um, a daily drawdown of let's say 1% or 4%, 5%, whatever, it doesn't mean you should risk the whole 5%. Why would you even do that? If you do that, then you lack management. You don't have anything, any economic background, no management background. You are just a gambler. And this, profession, if you're a gambler, you will not go anywhere. You will not get anywhere, right? So what you do is you have to come down to your own risk management strategy, right? So they gave you five. Why do you risk the whole five? They gave you one. Why do you risk the whole one? They gave you uh, 10. Why do you risk the whole 10? So you understand? So from the daily uh, drawdown, I come down to what? To the level that I want to do. For instance, for here, they didn't even give me any, any uh, drawdown. But does it mean I should risk the 6%? No. So I do my own calculation. Then I, in, in terms of money or in terms of dollar, I do this. I can actually do this in terms of what percentage and then and come up with this dollar amount. But I, for, for, for the purpose of, I want to have um, everything in a glance in this spreadsheet. So I just move it that way because I understand the dollar. With the dollar amount, it's easy for me to understand or know what I'm doing, right? So one thing that you have to come or you understand is that whatever amount that you want to risk or whatever you want to risk, please, first of all, start in terms of dollar or in terms of the amount, not the percentage. It is from this amount that you can come out with the percentage that you want to work. Uh, you can do the calculation in terms of percentage. So with the amount, it's very convenient, very flexible, understandable. Right. So now for, uh, let's see, let me move down to here. This particular account, this 5P, right? This 5P. You see, the day drawdown is 4%. Now the 4% of 5P is what, 200. 
right? I don't know if it is wrong, just do the calculation, right? It's two, uh, 200. Now this 200, I don't want to reach 200 in a day, right? I don't even want to get closer to that. So what do I do? I bring it down to what, $60. Now, some of you say that, no, this is too low, this is too small. But trust me, I like to grow gradually in this business. Growing gradually is, is, is key. This is from any uh, spirit of gambling, greed. You will lose your account in no time. So bring it down to the barest minimum and grow gradually. I know you may, you may be in dying need of money, but the thing is, there's one thing that we always say that if you are hard on money, if you are poor, excuse me to say, and you need money ASAP, please don't venture in this profession. Because when you come, you are going to do what is called gambling. That is very unhealthy to a trading journey, right? So bring it down. Someone will say that sixty is very low. No problem. So it means that in a day, if I'm if I'm risking sixty, the sixty means the daily, the personal DB is what I'm risking in a day. Now, so it means that if trades or the trading for the day doesn't go well and I lose trade on all of my positions, then that means it should be, it should be sixty dollars, right? And sixty dollars, that's okay, because I have the intention of. Let's say there are some a month or some weeks that you have a losing streak. A losing streak, you are losing the whole week. So I put, I base all my calculation on a weekly losing streak. So let's say if I lose the whole of the five days in the week of $60, then how much am I losing? I'll just multiply it by five. That would be 300. Right. So with 300 in the whole week, in fact, it's even less than 400, right? Uh -huh. So that is, it's less than 400. So even, even if I have lost within a week of um, losing to a streak of uh, 300, I, uh, that means out of the 400, I have 100 what, dollars left. But here is the case, um, I'm very conservative trader. So I may bounce back within even a week or the next week. Right, uh -huh. so this is, you have to position yourself, make yourself flexible. Don't do things, don't, don't do, um, don't, don't um, come up with um, a strategy or a risk management strategy, whereby if you lose, you'll be in a tight position to try to what, increase your what, your loss size. Because I know many a time, if you lose more than twice consecutively, you will be tempted to increase your loss size. And increasing your loss size, when your, your capital or in fact your, your, your equity or your balance is very low, that is very detrimental to you. And that is going to affect your psychology, right? Your psychology whereby you become disturbed. You think uh, you have this uh, FOMO, right? You think a uh, trading is not for you, it's not meant for you. Why is it that you're all losing here and there? Uh, you see, and the moment this thing sets in mentally, is going to affect your trading journey, right? Even come up with the idea that uh, for it's just calm here and there, God doesn't like you. You see, do your part and let God, that's it's what his part also. So don't put anybody at the tight corner. Don't put God at the tight corner. That is where we manage. At the economic level, you manage and pray to God that God should help you. Whatever belief that you have, you do that. So don't put anybody or anyone or your object of worship in the tight corner. Do this and pray. Do your part and pray. Do you understand? So if I should lose this three or five days, I'm losing 300, which for me uh, is maybe kind of rare, right? I may lose here, gain there, that is it. Good. Now, and then this is also means that, right? My, there's, some, there's a term called risk to reward ratio, right? Now, if you don't know this, please check in our video, the beginner's class, so you understand the uh, risk to reward ratio, the, the terms like SL and then TP. So this video is actually meant for advanced people. So it's assumed that you have the idea or understanding of what is an SL, 
right? Entry and then a TP. If you don't understand these things, I, I, I won't explain them here. I'm going, I'm just going to use the term and then we go ahead. So now, so if I'm losing a day of 660, it means that it means that if I should gain using a risk, uh, risk of a uh, risk to reward ratio of one to two, then I'm going to gain 120. One twenty dollars. You just multiply it by two. A risk to the reward ratio. That is it. So with this being said, let's move to the instrument. When it comes to the instrument, the instrument are, are what the pairs, mean effects, uh, currencies, commodities, gold, oil. You understand and um, silver or whatever. And then we move to the stock. Uh, the stock Apple. Uh, Netflix, uh, Tesla, those things, and then we can move to the stock indices or stock indexes, uh, which are the what the US 30, NAS 100. So these are the instruments here. Like I do every day, my instrument that I trade is, or in fact, uh, EU. If you see EU, it means uh, EU USD, the nickname called um, the fiber, and then we have G, the nickname called. Um, um, Cable, right? The XU is what gold. That is, that is my initials that I've used so that the, 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 the spreadsheet doesn't become too wide. And then we have US oil, right? That is it. So these are the instruments that I trade. Now I will do another video and then explain to you why do I trade only EU, GU, gold, and then maybe US oil. There's something called correlative or correlated pairs. So I'll do a video and I'll explain this in depth. Now, after getting this your instrument, so this instrument can come from your side. If only you are not following me, I'm not your mentor, you are not following learning from me, whatever instrument you do that. Now, we look at uh, pips, right? The pips. So the pips, it means that for each account, there's a, a number of pips that I am willing to lose because this calculation, after getting this calculation in dollar, you have to do it technically. To come up with this same amount of what, uh, this same amount of sixty or five hundred or one thousand or two hundred. This is the problem that most inter the newbies, in fact, the intermediate, and in fact, some advanced traders have problem with. It. They know they know how much they want to lose, right? They have that calculation on book, but when the trade actually ends, oh yes, then. They realize that the money that they anticipated to lose is more than that or even lower than that. So they have problem with this calculation. So this video, that is the main purpose of this video. So I'll open another uh, browser and then I'll explain to you there. Right. So that's what we are going to do. Now, um, so with this me said, so when you take, for instance, uh, let me use this template. This example. So, uh, with a 5K account, right? And then uh, a daily of 60, right? So, this $60, I have what? Divided it, spread it among these three uh, pairs, especially the US oil. I've, I don't really trade it. It depends on the account that I trade. I have different accounts. So, I don't trade all the pairs on the same accounts, right? So one account may go with EU, GU, and gold. Another account may go with only EU and GU. Some only goes with only EU, sorry, GU. And then some also goes with only um, uh, US oil, right? But uh, an account can have what's EU, GU, and uh, XU on it with trade positions open at the go. Now, once again, the fact that I've listed these three or four Pairs or currencies doesn't mean all the time I have to have all positions, these positions open on an account. Sometimes look at the chart, view analysis, and realize that one uh, chart or one currency does not have that edge. You don't have that edge, that higher probability uh, set up to trade. So don't force it. That's why I have a number of them, three. So maybe sometimes in a day I only trade two currencies, EU and GU. Most of are constant because they are very positively correlated. I will explain this later. So that is it. So I have to uh, divide this, spread this amount over all these things. And how do I do that? 
I do that with what? The lot side, right? The lot side. And then with the help of what? My pits. Right? So that is, to realize for, um, uh, when you take, you see, EU refers to the first one, right? E refers to the first, first one, and then in that order. Now, if you realize here, I have stroke here. It means that EU and GU have the same um, uh, amount in terms of pips and then loss size. If I do the calculation, they have the same amount. So that's why I just did the stroke there. So E and G, you have the same, the third column with the same lot size. It will run through, if you check, they run through for all of them, right? So E and G, you have the same thing. Now, when I move to gold, the lot size is also what? 0 0.01, based on the account that I'm trading. You see, for if you realize, the, uh, if you go down, realize that the account or the lot size is what? Increases because the account size are also what increasing here. Yeah. So that is why we have this, this um, uh, differences, right? So the lot size here, if you see the lot size here, the, these are the lot size, right? And then if you look at here for the oil, I don't have the lot, uh, the, 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 the lot size set yet because I don't usually trade it. I trade it on the competition account, some account that we have, they have bigger account size. Uh -huh. So with that one, I just few pips I can enter. So I'm not fixed, but I have the idea how much pips I should lose or I should risk. So that is it. So when I take EU and GU, the pips that I set is what? Less than or equal to 45. You see it here. Less than or equal to 45. So meaning that I won't risk a pip pip amount of um, more than 45, 45 pips, uh, pips, I won't lose that. So it could be less than or, or, or equal to that based on where I, my entry is. So you realize when you're entering a trade, you don't enter trade just because you see them, uh, the, the, the price going up or down here, yeah. but you have to look at where you're entering. So your entry will determine your SL, right? So if I see any entry opportunity, which I will have to lose more, risk more than 45 pips, then for that entry, that it means to, for me that I'm too late, right? It is too late for me to enter that trade. So if it's too late, what I have to do is wait and ask for maybe, uh, wait for a, a, a retracement or a pullback, and then I enter again, or better so the next day, it is not my fault. This is what we got. This is an important aspect of the whole journey. If you are not able to do this, trust me, you are not getting anywhere. You may be good at technical analysis, fundamentals, whatever, even teach people. You teach people and people will be profitable and you yourself will be a loser because you don't practice what you teach. You understand? So that is it. So with EU and GU, 45, less than equal to 45. So it means that at that time I can even go in 20 pips. That is it. Now, with these 20 pips, I'm going to show you with the lot size of uh, 0.05 with a pip number of what 45. So that's I know how much I would lose there because I'm 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 spreading or dividing this amount over all of them. So at the end of the day, if I should lose all of them in this trade, I'll calculate the amount, the dollar amount, and then when I sum them up, you realize that they are just equal to or less than sixty dollars. Simple as that. So we see the pips here, and then 45, 11. When I move to gold, the lot size different because gold is very volatile, very strong, very big. So you see that the lot size is very strong. On 5K account, my lot size is always the minimum in terms of lot size. 0 0.01 is the minimum lot size in this profession. So for gold on 5K account, I go 0 0.01. I don't go more than that. If the account is bigger, let's say 25k, then 0 0.4, sorry, 0 0.07. Many a time people enter a trade impulsively. They look at how the, the currency is moving within some time frame and they, they go in big. Trust me, what if it goes a negative? It goes the other way around. You'll be traumatized. You don't do that. Always position yourself that you want to go gradually. Because this profession, every now and then you learn new things. So why don't you go gradually to use the, that, that process to learn? 
right? So that is it. It will be very uh, disheartening, very daunting to make a, a huge amount of money within a week and then the following day, in fact, one day, and lose all of them. It's going to affect you psychologically. So why don't you put, so I, I, I always try to position myself in a, in, a, in a way that I will not have problem with psychology. Of course, I'm, uh, I'm not saying that I have mastered it totally, but no, at least to the level that I am now, I think I'm okay. The level I'm okay, I'm just learning more. So that is why we do this. So you have a look, a proper look, a closer look, a closer look at this chart. Now we will move to uh, the website. Where we do the calculation? How do you come up with this uh, personal DD, the personal daily drawdown? Uh, daily drawdown? Because if you don't know this, you you write this thing down in your book and nothing. You won't understand it. You lose more than that. You lose this and that, and that is also going to affect you. So take this thing very uh, uh, serious, and I'm going to move to the the what the site where the calculation is done there. So this is we have automation automation there. The sites they do things easy for you. You don't have to stress yourself. But it's better you understand how how it works, and then from the site I think things will be what very what very fine. So now I hope you can see the site. Now the site is what called uh, myfxbook.com. Myfxbook.com, right? So this is the site. This site is very, 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 very good. Very efficient. It covers a number of things. It's very good. That is what I use. One of the sites that, if you are a forex trader, if you have this site or this app, always open on your on your phone, right? The, let me just give you the menu what it, it provides. We have home, right? We have the portfolio. The portfolio you can create a broker account and link them here to, to help you in what journaling. As a trader, you should also have this this thing called journaling. You should do the journaling. You have a trading plan, a trading strategy. They go hand in hand. So this site or this tab actually what helps you do that. It will help you monitor how well you are doing in your trade at a glance, right? Then we have news, we have markets, we have system, community, reviews, brokers, charts, education. They also teach some things there. Now let's come to the sub menu. We have a, an economic calendar, right? That is where I am now. The economic calendar, covers what fundamental. So despite the fact that you have done your analysis in um, technical analysis and all that, a news can actually come and then mess up your whole what analysis for technical. So these technicals go hand in hand. If you have not uh, watched this video, check in the beginners and watch um, on technical types of what um, charts, right? We have technical analysis and then fundamental and then sentiment. You just watch that one too. Now, so under that, we have economic calendar. This tells you the news, the time, the date, the time, the type of what the news, right? And then we have something called impact, previous, consensus, actuals, and then whatever. This is you have to understand them well. If you're a newbie, please don't concern yourself too much, right? I'll make in fact, I'll cover a video on this. So I'm just giving you overview. So our main focus is what here. Now, watch on your screen. You see FX calculators. FX calculators. Now, FX calculators. Let's click that. Let's move to that side. That's where we are going to do our calculation and come up with the amount that we intend to what to lose or risk. Let me put it that way. So when you come here, this is where you see here. We have FS calculators. We have currency converters. In fact, um, I mean, currency converter. We have pick calculator. We have Fibonacci calculator. We have risk of ruin calculator. We have drawdown calculator. We have profit calculator. We have, in fact, we have a number of them. This side is very good. Now, our main focus is on what pick calculator. So click that. Now, when you pay, click that, this is the page that it opens to you, PIP calculator. So at a glance, you see uh, 
uh, account currency, majorly or mostly in USD. If you are outside uh, maybe another country, or in fact, you can even be in Ghana or whatever, USA or whatever, and still trade another, have your, 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 your capital in what? In another currency, it doesn't matter. So you can come here and then choose it, select it, for that matter. We have the uh, trade size, the lot that you are going to trade, and then we have the pip, right? Now, if you do whatever you're going to do here, if I don't select any type of a currency, I need another field, right? In fact, as you have like a, a four fields, one, two, three, a fourth field. So when you open your, your, your this side, freshly, this is going to leak like, so I need another um, field. So just come down and just click on any of the pairs. All the pairs that we trade, they are all populated here. All the pairs. In fact, almost, if I'm not saying, if I don't want to uh, mislead you, but in fact, almost all the pairs that we trade, whatever, they are here. So now, because we trade uh, Euro USD and then pound USD and then gold, I'm going to just select that. So now I see Euro USD here. Select it or click it. Let us stop. Then it gives you what you see that we have Euro USD pip calculator. So you realize that now we have four fields here. We have USD, the currency pair is selected here. We have the currency account, the account currency, sorry. We have the trade size meaning the lot size, and then we have the pip. Good. Now, we are supposed to choose a currency that we want what? Which any amount on. So USD here. Yeah. I can also type uh, pounds, GDP, USD. It's 30, what? 30 cents. So the moment you start typing, if the currency is part of this, it will populate. So that is it. So let's go back to you, USD. That is it. Now, now we set for an account. We were risking like 60 the whole day, spread over all the, the, the pairs, $60. So I'm going to use the template or the, the, the example of $60. So I have that in mind, right? $60, I have that in mind. So with this $60, if I should spread 60 among three or divided by three, meaning I'm having 20 what dollars. Meaning EU, uh, I'm, I'm risking $20 on EU, $20 on pounds, and maybe $20 on gold. Now, per my strategy, I always risk lower on gold. I know some people think it's very volatile, so they will risk more there. No, gold sometimes, Per my trading my trade strategy, gold, I don't trade gold all the time. I trade when I see a massive move, a higher probability setup, right? So I put smaller money there. So let's say the $60 among the three, I risk 20 on uh, EU, then 20 on GU, and then the 20 will be at the Sometimes I can even risk as low as $11 right as low as eleven dollars on gold right so let's assume i'm going to risk twenty dollars on what on your usd that is what i have in mind so i have to do the calculation here put in the lot here and there too until i see that the amount is equal to 20 or less than 20. so that is it now, it doesn't always have to be equal to the, the, the dollar that I want to use because bear in mind, there's another thing called swap, another thing called commission. It depends on the broker or the profit. The, the, the charges are not the same. So you have to go even go up further by taking that also into consideration, right? The commissions are very small. And then the swap, the swap is when you, you, you need trade to run over some, over, over the, over a day, right? Yes, you leave a trade, don't close it over a day. So mostly for the swing or the swingers. Let me put, let me put that word swinger. And then the daily one, is, I think you don't, you don't have to concern yourself with what swap. So the, but the commission is fixed. The commission, the moment the trade triggers, the, the pro firm 
or the the broker takes their commission. So whether you lose or you gain, you have taken there. And that is taken from your account. So you have to take that into consideration. So you have to test the broker that you are on trading and then how much they charge. You will see it when the trade is running, you see it. So that is it. So even if you don't understand how commission is done, commission is just small, small amount. So let's say on this um, UUSD, let's say a trade with I'm risking $20, they will take, let's say, $1. Yes, $1, $2 at least. That is what I'm saying per my word, the broker. So that is, take that into consideration. That is why I'm saying that you don't always have to risk the same amount, sometimes to be low, sometimes to be less. It depends on the, what the pips that, the, 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 in fact, the SL distance that you are, you are considering. So that is it. So now I'm talking about $20. So now, $20, but for the pips, for the pips, I'm aware of it already. The number of pips that I want to use, I'm aware already. I told you it's 45. So you always have to put in your pips, your pip, the, the SL. The pips here is what your SL distance. Don't forget that. The pips here is your SL distance. The pips is what? The movement that the currency takes, either up or down. If you don't know what is a pip, please check in our beginner's video. I've explained that the pips, uh, spread, SL, TP, and all that. We are there. Check in the beginner class and you understand it better. So we said that in the in the S spreadsheet, we are risking what 45. Now, 45. Let me assume I'm, uh, I don't know the loss side. Right. So let me just hit calculate. Now, if I hit this, it means that this is the amount what I'm going to lose when the trade runs at a loss or goes the, uh, in the unexpected direction. This is the amount I'm losing, and that is too much. So you see pip value, right? One lot, whatever. So just check it. Don't concern yourself too much. You come there. Just relax. Just let your concentration be here, right? So for E and GU, this amount will be the same because they are positively correlated. I'll treat that. So this amount you're losing, so it means that it's too much. So what you do is you'll be massaging your what? Your lot size until you hit $20. So that is the calculation. The site has done this for you. Initially, you have to do this manually. And that was very hectic. But now the advance, and then to, thanks to what? My FX book, things have made convenient and easy. So you have to what? Put in this. You've got that one, you know it. You have that at the back of your mind. This is what you are willing to risk. So here is what? One lot. One lot is what? 450. Meaning you would have breached that account when it comes to 5K account. You would have breached that account. What you start massaging it. So 0, 0 0.0, let's say 7, which is 31. Now, this is still too much. It's too big. If I should risk this on all of them and I should run at a loss, I'm, I'm, I'm what? I'm superseding or going above the $60. Because only two trades, I'm hitting like $63. $63. Only that. My commission has not even come. So I would have breached that account. So what do you do there again? Continue massaging the what? The what? The loss side. Then now let me move straight because I, I even have the idea already. I move straight here. So you see. So 0 0.05 is okay for me. Or yet, let's do what? Exact. So 0 0.0, um, let's say 4. So this is okay. Right? This is okay. Taking into consideration the, the commission that they do are deducted. So that is it. Very, 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 very convenient. So I hope you understand this idea. Now, if you, I, I want to prove to you that EU and GU are positively correlated, meaning they are the same, they have the same amount, whatever. So let me just come down, click here, and type pound USD, GDP USD. You see? The same value. You type the hit. Calculate. I've already clicked this. So it comes up automatic. That is it. 
So you see, so 18 plus 18 will be like 30, is it 39? 36 or something, yeah. Time to 36. So that is it. So you see that I'm within my risk management. I'm within that money that I want to do. So even 36, now we are not even around uh, uh, 40 or, yeah, 40 yet. So I am managing my risk very, very tightly. I like tight risk management it's because they are very good. They make you relax in your trading career. So, yes, so that would be this. Now, so that means 36 uh, minus 60. Let me do that. 60 minus 36. So we are left with what, 24. So this 24, I can risk all the 24 on gold or better so I, I don't have to worry myself, or oh, I can risk less than that, or still things. Do not go. Let's go to gold. So, so meaning that we are left with 24 for gold. So let's see. We calculate the pop star. Now look at this. I told you gold is very volatile, very strong, very heavy. So you see, even with 0 0.04 lot size of 40 pips, right? It's what? 1,000. One, in fact, 180. Now, here, there's, a, there's some kind of confusion here. You have to understand. Gold is not a currency. So currencies are calculated in their pip, in their pip movements, in their movement as pips, right? But when you go to, when you go to uh, gold and then the stock indices and, and other, or stock, they are calculated or their movement is calculated in pips. Right, it's calculated in pips, so that is why it's this way. But for the EU, the other currencies, whatever you see here is the exact what dollar amount. But in terms of gold and then other currency pairs, just take always ignore this last zero or last digit. Always ignore the last digit. So in this in this example, with the left side of zero point zero four, it's one eighty dollars. So this one eighty dollars is too much. It's too much. I would have what breached the contract, breach that account. So what do you do? I told you, always put your pips or your points or SL distance first. So if you realize, meaning if <laughs> if you're smart, you would have realized that now. Look at the pip size. We said in the in the spreadsheet that. On gold, you are risking at most 11 pips or 11 points. You understand? I'm just going to use them interchangeably because you may not understand it. So just stick with me. So pips or points. So this 45 is too much. So let's go down to 11. If I go down to 11, now we are, what are we, we are risking 45, sorry, $44. And this 44 is too much, is too big uh, than the what, the 24. We told you we are left with $24 to work to risk. So this is too much. So what do I do? I continue to work, massage my work, my pit, my lot side, sorry. So because I know this already, the, the video length, I don't want to mention it, just go straight to 0 0.01. Sorry. 0.01. You see? You see it now? So what are we risking? 11. 11 is okay. Right? That's $11. Meanwhile, we are saying 24. So if you still want to go up to that 24, maybe it means that you can do this 0 0.02. That was 22. That is okay because commission two will affect this because we are saying we are left with 24. So we just leave it at what 0 0.02. That is it. Even for me, I go 0 0.01. Uh -huh. That is my strategy. So you hardly see that I've blown an account or my, 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 my account has been breached or I've lost my account. I'm not saying I've never lost my account before. I have done that a few times. It's part of the journey. 
if any trader tells you you have never lost an account, that person or trader is a liar, a big liar. I'm telling you this. I have to be honest with you. Honesty is the best policy. I don't want things to have that uh, fantasy world where you think, because before people come into this uh, profession, they have the misinformation that when you enter this profession within two months, three months, you make it big. No, you can make it big with proper risk management and discipline, better risk management, right? Trading plan, then you can do that. But if you come with a spirit of greed and gamble, you will not get anywhere. Get this at the back of your mind. So that is, so for me, I don't even go for, for 5K account, I don't even go 0.0, .0 more than 0 0.01 on gold. I don't. Now, if I will do that, then it means that the, the three pairs that I'm entering, it means that I, 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 at, the, at the goal, they put, at the open positions, it could be that maybe gold is the only position that I have. Then I can reach this amount. So this is, is what subjective. You have to know yourself. So I am just giving you what? The template, the idea, the stepping stone. And then capitalize on this thing, grow on this thing. In fact, if anything that you want to know personally, contact me. I have premium services and I have free. But for now, I think we, we can talk because I have the passion of help, helping the youth. Let us grow together and then make it. Our economy is suffering. The world is suffering too much poverty and too much trouble. So let's help each other. That's my passion, right? So that is it. So risk based on you, the account size. So you realize that you risk according to the account size and according to the maximum drawdown and according to the what, the daily drawdown. People do not know this and then they go in anyhow, any amount, because they see that there's a new market moving massively, then they enter, don't do that. So you understand this is what it, that is what it means. So I think with this idea, you have seen Practical step by step, how risk management is done. This is very exciting, very informing, enlightening. Please just follow this. So always look here. So in gold or for gold, realize that you look at the word, the first two words. Sorry, we ignore the last two words. The last digit, sorry, the last digit in gold. But the rest, whatever amount you see there is the exact thing. Whatever amount you see there is the exact thing. Just based there, look here. Don't look the down there. You may get confused. You just check here and then you do that. So if you want to try this yourself, take another pair, right? Or the pair that you trade. I trade EU, GU, and gold, and sometimes oil. So the pair that you trade, put them here. You come here, they will be populated. Type them in. Intelligence will help you to get them with the amount the currency that was the nomination that you trade, also check that. And then I think we are good to go. So I think we draw the curtain here. Thank you very much for being with us. I'll put the links to the my FX book, right? All that you have to do is get an account with what if you don't have an account with my FX book, get an account with it. I'll put the link there to register and then have that. Just have just be looking at the, the the page, right? Just move up and down. Yeah, you see, yeah, it, it's easy to use. You understand? So you have everything there at your disposal. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you very much for being with us. Bye for now. <laughs>